Hello, welcome to Create with Brenda. My name is Brenda Hillard, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator, and I have a fun little project to show you. This week, my product of the week features the stamp set called Rooted in Nature. It's a set of two uh, clear mount stamps, and as you can see, there is quite a quite a selection of trees, leaves, sprigs, tree stumps, and then also some really kind of cool sentiments, and I love the font on these. If you look at some earlier posts from this week, you can see some cards I did using the, the different fonts and, and stamps. So, is what I want to show you now is, this was a project uh, that I put together, actually, rather quickly, and I know it looks... Um, like there's a lot of parts, and there are a lot of parts, but that's where the beauty of the Nature's Roots framelits come in. The framelits match the stamps, so in order to create this tree, I stamped, or actually, I used my Mossy Meadow marker and my Early Espresso marker to color the stamp. I stamped it, and then I'm able to cut it out with my Big Shot using the dies. The purpose of this video is I wanted to show you how you, if you have a Big Shot, I wanted to show you like another way to use, use your dies. And I think you can see it quite clearly here on this card, but this, this crumb cake circle is uh, embossed using the dies and I'll show you how to do that right now is what you're going to need is well first of all you need a big shot and if you don't have one and you don't have a demonstrator I would love to be your demonstrator and I would love to help you get your very own big shot so is what a big shot is is it looks like this it's a die cutting die cutting machine I'm just going to raise my camera up. I'm sorry to do this while videoing. I didn't know that it wouldn't all fit in. There. I think that's pretty good. So as what there is, there's a handle over here that you just move the platform through. The biggest thing with embossing with your dies is getting, first of all, you need the embossing mats. And they look like this. Um... They're the Big Shot embossing mats. They're available in our annual catalog. You get a blue silicone sheet, a gray sheet, and then there's this white, they call it the impressions pad. So, in order to make your sandwich, that's what we call the layering to get this to work through your Big Shot, is you have your Big Shot platform. You need one of your cutting plates my brand new ones. They normally don't look this nice and people that have big shots will know exactly what I'm talking about. When you lay your dies on the cutting plate, you're going to want to put them cut ed edge or raised edge up. If you don't do that, you will end up cutting your embossing mat and that's a sad day. So, like I said, you have your Big Shot platform, your clear cutting plate, your dies. Then you're going to put your piece of paper that you're embossing over the top. You want your blue silicone embossing mat. And then your impressions, your white impressions folder. And when you reel this through, it doesn't feel like anything is happening. I'll show you what I mean. There isn't a lot of resistance like there normally is when you're cutting. And I'm just doing a forward and back motion. And then when you lift, <laughs> you have the leaves embossed on your cardstock. How cool is that? So that makes for a lot of possibilities. The one thing I will tell you is you do want the more detailed or intricate 
dies that have the lines in them. So anyway, I just did one of each. And that's exactly what I did on my card here as well. I just did the one big leaf, the spray of three, um, layered it up on the stitched framelits, just cut out a little bit bigger circle, um, used the spray in both Crush Curry and Mossy Meadow, added some embellish the copper embellishments, the leaf trinkets, and then I also added some copper sequins. And then just for an extra touch, and I don't know if you can see it or not, but it says words are never enough. And I um, embossed that with the copper embossing powder. So the background is just um, a standard A2 card, the four and a quarter by five and a half. And then I cut this layer of thick cardstock that's four by five and a quarter and I just ran that through using the the wood plank embossing folder and then on the inside I added from the kindness and compassion stamp set our sincere condolences and just added um, a cutout sprig so I hope you like my my tip slash technique of the week using your dies to emboss again the the Big Shot embossing mats are available in the annual catalog. If you don't have a catalog, need a catalog, please let me know. I'd be happy to get one out to you. Talk to you soon. Bye.